Have you ever tried to register for classes just to find out that all sections of the class that you needed were full? Or the only class being offered at the time you can fit into your schedule is not available? You may have wondered, is it possible to get on a waitlist for this class? Good news! A waitlist option is now available for over 900 courses in the student registration system. The waitlisting process is easy. As a student, you are responsible for putting yourself on the waitlist, for checking your email every day to see if you've received notification of an open seat, and for registering yourself in the course after receiving the email notification. Let's take a closer look at these steps. Once logged into Banner, run a course search to find the course you want to register for. In this example, we will try to register for Business 101. If the course shows a C in front of it, that means that the course is already full. Now you can check to see if there is a waitlist available for the course. The first column shows you how many students are allowed in the course. The second shows you how many students are already registered for the course. And the third shows you how many seats are still available. The columns that start with WL tell you about the waitlist. The first column shows how many students are allowed to waitlist, the next shows you how many students are already on the waitlist, and the third shows you how many waitlist spots are left. If you would like to put yourself on the waitlist for a course, take note of the course's CRN number. Enter the CRN on the Add Classes worksheet and press Submit Changes. Next you will see a registration error. Use the drop down menu under Action, select Waitlist, and press Submit Changes. Now the course shows up with the rest of your classes with the status of Waitlist and the date you put yourself on the Waitlist. If you scroll to the bottom and click on Continue to Student Class Schedule, it will display not only the courses that you're registered for, but also courses that you're on the waitlist for. Banner displays your schedule in alphabetical order, regardless of if a course is waitlisted or registered, so pay careful attention to the course status. The course schedule screen will also show you which position you are in on the waitlist. Once you've added yourself to a waitlist, it's very important that you check your LCC student email daily to see if you've received a waitlist notification. If you have received notification that a seat has opened up for you, you'll have 24 hours from the time the email was sent for you to register yourself in the course. If you do not register for the course within 24 hours, you will be dropped from the waitlist and the next student on the waitlist will be notified of the empty seat. If you have forwarded your LCC student email to a personal email account, LCC will not be held accountable for notifications not received. It is important that you use your LCC student email only to receive important information from LCC. It's important to note that you will have 24 hours from the time the email was sent, not from the time you've opened the email. Once you receive the email notification, log into your Banner account to register for the course. Click on Student, then Registration, then Registration Tasks. Click on Add or Drop Classes. Under Action, use the drop-down menu to select Web Registered and Submit Changes. Now you can see the course status has switched from waitlist to web registered. You can also see the change in course status by scrolling to the bottom of the screen and clicking on continue to student class schedule. For more information, visit www.lcc.edu.